guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating an acid burn, complete with a little bit of foaming action. As always, viewer discretion is advised. I begin by cleaning my skin with alcohol and a cotton pad. Next, I mixed up a batch of third degree, and this is a silicone modeling compound that works great for wound simulations. You could also use liquid latex, wax, or gelatin, use what you have. I applied the third degree to my skin with a metal spatula, and the only way I can think of describing this motion is when you're icing a cake. It's kind of that motion that you have with your wrist. Um, you kind of sweep the spatula through the third degree, and it helps really blend out the edges and make it kind of a smoother kind of wound. Acid wounds are very smooth, and they look like melted skin. And you want to keep adding the third degree to build up the burn. And to mimic that melting skin even further, I loaded my spatula with a little bit of the third degree and drug it through the burn, kind of drug it through the melted layers. And it creates kind of this dissolved flesh look. It's kind of hard to describe, but hopefully you can see it in the camera. Next, I added a bit of color with my Real Creations Color Wheel Palette. I used a lot of the colors in the palette, mainly the red neutralizer, brown number 5, red number 2, deep red number 7, black number 1, and blue number 4. And I think I have bingo now. Bingo! To create a more realistic effect, I dabbed the color on with a sponge, then detailed the crevices with a brush. I focused the darker colors mainly in the deeper parts of the wound. Now it's time to add a little bit of fake blood, and I kept this also in the deeper parts of the wound. Just dabbed it on with a Q-tip. I did add a bit of castor seal, which is kind of an oil, to help dilute the blood, and also to give the next product something to stick to. The foaming action is created with antacid tablets. These are kind of comparable to Alka-Seltzer. Basically when you add water they fizz. So what you do is you break up the tablet and then crush it kind of up in a bowl or you could use spoons too. Um, and then you're going to sprinkle that on top of the wound. It's going to stick to the castor oil. And now to activate the wound, to activate the foaming action, you want to spray it with water. The tablets are going to mix with that blood as well and create a pretty nasty effect. It's pretty gross if you ask me. Okay guys, that wraps up this acid burn tutorial. Hope you enjoyed and thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, and giving this video a great big thumbs up um, for the nasty factor at least. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys on Facebook and Twitter as well and uh, take care. Bye!